Okay, so welcome back. Um, in a previous video on the subject of, of scientific and engineering calculators, we talked a bit about some of the old-time calculators that some may remember, the old HPs from way back in the 90s. And we talked about how those are really outdated and probably not the best choice. There's other options out there. Um, but sadly, I think if you're an actual engineer out doing engineering work, the market for engineering calculators has been pretty stagnant over the years. And I think uh, the market is now geared more towards college students who are taking exams. And that's fine, but it's probably not optimal for uh, engineers. You know, there's a lot of functionality you might not need, and it's designed for uh, people who are taking tests. So um, if you look through the, the market for engineering calculators, you'll see a lot of very expensive uh, graphing calculators, which in my view, um, I'm pr really not that interested in. I mean, if I want to do any serious graphing, as I mentioned in another video, um, I'll go into Excel and I'll do some serious graphing. So um, I'm not willing to spend a lot of, you know, hundreds of dollars on graphing calculators because I probably are, I'm not going to use them. Um, so if you look down at the scientific or engineering calculators uh, down in the $20, $30 range, you'll probably come up with calculators that are kind of like these. And here I've got a Casio FX115ES and a Sharp ELW516. And these are both in the $15 to $20 range. And honestly, these things have been around for at least 10 years. Again, the, the, the improvement in, in engineering calculators has been pretty stagnant, other than some very complex graphing calculators. And, you know, to me, they're fine, but they do have, in general, some, uh, at least one or two big negatives that I really dislike. Now, if you look at these calculators right now, you can see if there's not direct light shining on them, it's hard to see the display, and it's hard to make out what's, you know, the second, the alternate functions and the keys, and depending on the light, where the light is, it can be a real challenge to see what you're looking at. Um, so, you know, if you're in a well-lit room with a light behind you, you can see the display and what's on the keys, but otherwise it can be a bit of a pain. So to me, that is really one of the major challenges with these calculators. They haven't been upgraded to have, you know, well-lit displays and, you know, they just got an old 1990s version LCD display and really not too optimal. Um, the other thing is, these are fairly complex devices, and you're going to need to have some instructions on how to use them. Now, this Casio FX115ES comes with a nice little manual, all right? So you can look at it, you, you know, if you're, if you're using your calculator and you need to figure it out, you run to the manual. This Sharp ELW516 doesn't come with a manual. So now you have to download a PDF onto your computer and either print it out or do something. It's really kind of annoying. So um, those are the two big things. Um, the visibility of these devices is really pretty poor considering we're in the 2000s now and they should be um, some very nice displays. And, you know, the um, instruction manuals are a challenge. Um, otherwise, what's really nice about these is the multi-line displays and this, you can do equations and you can do complex numbers, so that's nice. So what I have found is that there is a, an option that is virtually free that, that fixes the issues that I see with these $15 or $20 calculators. And that is an Android app on your phone that simulates a calculator and it's just an absolutely absolutely wonderful option okay so my recommendation is don't even think about buying a calculator like this instead go for something like this this is an application on my android 
And this particular one is called Hyper, H-I-P-E-R. It's a free application and it is wonderful. Um, I have no relation whatsoever to the people who develop it. I just think it's amazing. Uh, it's free. Again, I think, you know, if you're going to take advantage of somebody's hard work and software, buy the pro version. There's a pro version which really has the same functionality, I think but it costs about $3.50. It's basically a way to support the folks who are developing this. So get the pro version. Um, you may not notice any difference, but it's a great way to support people who do wonderful stuff like this. Now, first thing I want you to notice, unlike the calculators you buy, if you turn off the light, look at how bright that is, okay? It, since it's a, um, since it's a smartphone, it's as bright as you want. So even in no light, you can um, use the calculator. Okay, wonderful. Now, let me go through some of the great um, other functionality this thing has. Now, I mentioned these other calculators. You have to run to a manual or you have to download a PDF. This is different. You go to the menu button. You go to help. It has a wonderful manual right here, and you can go into whatever you, you want to do. You just press the button, like RPN. This also has RPN, we'll talk about that, but it's wonderful. You don't have to run to a manual, it's all right there, okay? Now, I want to just show you some of the great functionality this has. Um, again, I'll go to the menu button, and the first one is mode. Now, it's got three modes you can go into. I normally keep it on expression mode, which is a two-line display where you can show um, expressions and fractions and that kind of thing. Classic is one line or RPN. Now, again, this has RPN. For those who like RPN, it's got it. And you can also use real or complex. I always keep it on complex. So great functionality. Now, back to the menu button, layout. It has a small pocket size, which I don't use. It's got a regular compact, which is, shows a lot more functionality, but it's also got this expanded. And expanded allows you to expand the, the display onto like a tablet. So if you have a big tablet, here's the expanded display. And you can imagine if you put that on a big tablet, it's very nicely laid out. It's absolutely wonderful. Back to the menu. There's a theme. You can change the display. Here's the standard classic. You can get different colors if you care about that. Um, and then settings. Now settings is great because you can decide what, um, you know, how many decimal points you want. Formatting if you want, if you use points or commas for your decimal separators. Uh, thousand separators, you can choose that. Uh, expression. You can tell it how you want your expressions. Display. Now, one great thing in this display is you can set the font size. You can set little tiny fonts or you can set huge fonts. And I've got mine cranked up. Um, I go up to like 1.25 and it gives you a little bit bigger display. Now, the, another wonderful thing about this is it has a touch screen, so you can say, five times six, and go back and say, no, I meant plus. So you just press where you want the cursor and delete that and put in a plus. And notice, as you enter the data, it gives you a real-time answer. You don't have to hit equals. Now, another nice feature that um, is easy to use, I'm, I'm not a big user of graphing on calculators, but it has built-in graphing. So, for example, let's say I wanted to plot 10 times and I'll hit sign x divided by x. You can see it's 10 times sine x or sync x. And I go to more and you can see it not only gives me different versions of that equation, but it gives me a graph. Okay? So it's a very quick way to get a graph. Also with complex numbers, it will put them on Rx diagram. It will show you a vector. So really wonderful functionality.
Now you can also enter um, your own functions. You go to this, you go to these x, y, m, where you can enter variables, functions. So, for example, I can put in the sync x as a new function. Um, you can also look at history. So, for example, if I want to see the history of my calculations, I just go shift and down here to answer. And you can see it's got a bunch of um, results that you came up with. You can just select one and go back in time. Now, another thing it's got, which is nice, is the use of parentheses is very easy. So, for example, let's say I wanted 5 plus 6, and I said, oh, no, I want to multiply that times 3. I don't have to go back and put in a parentheses around this. I can just put the trailing parentheses times 3, and it gives me, this is 11 times 3, 33. So it, there's an implicit parentheses there. So very nice. So anyway, this has marvelous functionality. Again, it's free. Um, I suggest you spend 350 to get the pro version to support the folks who do this. And I really love it. It's got just about everything I need, and it's very easy to use. So anyway, hope this helps. Take care and have a really good day. Thanks.